Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me a chance to also contribute to this very important uh, bill. First and foremost, I think it's prudent for Kenya to compare itself with our neighbors in terms of the task rate. But I think it is evident that as we compare our, ourselves with other peoples in the region who are taxing their people much more than us, we have to look at the local context where our Kenyans are. Kenyans now are economically at their knees, very vulnerable. And anybody attempting to add anything on top of the suffering Kenyans, it will not actually do justice. So I think it is very dishonest for us to compare ourselves or to get input from international financiers and imagine that Kenya is in the same situation. It's important to realize that the, since COVID-19, the economy of Kenya has not picked up. And having, tax, having to tax Kenyans higher than that is making them not only vulnerable, but actually not being in a position to survive. Secondly, this debt we have been talking about, everybody says we are taxing them because we have to pay our debt. And I say right, we have to pay our debt. But this debt has been acquired over a period of 61 years. You cannot acquire debt in 61 years and you want to do away with the debt in two years. That means of abandoning the people, we have to be strategic in dealing with the debt. We are not dying tomorrow as Kenyans. We need to pay the debt in a manner that enables our people to, control, to continue to grow. So when I hear this passion of wanting to tax Kenyans so that we pay a debt, we need to recognize that this debt is very old. And we need to be strategic and then deal with the debt for the next five, seven years. And that way we will allow, allow our Kenyans to survive. Thirdly, Honorable Speaker, it is very shocking, even since uh, Finance Bill 2023, we are borrowing money to do reproductive activities. We say we are poor, we need money. But the little money we get, we go and put in housing. We go and put in health care. While I accept these valuable things, but you cannot have the few coins you have, instead of putting them in something productive, you put the small coins in a dead hole. When you build a house, when will it generate income so that you collect taxes? I think we need to sit down and have a, a finance bill that is strategic, enabling, and can take Kenya forward. We cannot have a finance bill where the little money we have, we are actually putting them in a hole. Yeah. When we go and build everybody's house, it is a good thing. But is it right for us now? The small money we have, we must put it in a reproductive activity. And I do not see anything like that in this finance bill. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I think when we did finance bill 2023, Kenyans had very many problems. The, the finance bill 23, we have not even seen the fruits. Yes. People have still in burden. Oh, yes. They are still overburdened. We've never seen the fruits. I think it is prudent. I think it is prudent to wait for the interventions we did to wait and see where the kind of fruits we are getting. So that the, the finance bills are progressive, building from each other. We should not just be very passionate of collecting taxes without enabling the Kenyans to grow. Let's look like some of the investments. One of the very strategic projects in Finance Bill 2023 was the Asla Fund. Where are we in Asla Fund? Nowhere. <laughs> Getting money, putting in holes, and then you ask Kenyans to give more money. From where? You cannot milk a cow that is eating nothing. Amen. We need the Kenyan citizen to be fed with something to promote the economy so as to milk. How do you milk a dead cow? The Kenyan citizen is dead. We need interventions that enable the Kenyan person to thrive. So I think it doesn't make any sense to, to, to think of taxing the Kenyan when they are actually order, a dead cow. Order, Kiamba, there's a point Honorable of order. Speaker. Order, there's a point of order. Yes, uh, Wanjiku Muya.
What is your point of order and under what standing order? Give her the mic. Honorable Speaker, I'm standing on point of point uh, of order number 91. Is the member in order to state to the House and mislead the nation that there is no hustler fad? Can she substantiate? And secondly, for the member to say, for the member to say that there is no fruits and she is even earning the salary herself. And CDF. Kiamba, your time is up. Your time is up. John Paul Murigi. Your time is up. John Paul Murigi. <laughs> check, check. Okay, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise also to contribute on this motion, uh, on this bill, Mr. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, uh, the Kenyan citizens, Mr. Sp Madam Speaker, sent us to this house, Madam Speaker, 